Hey guys, last week I started Spravato treatment. So this is going to be my first video about those treatments. I'm gonna to try to make a video about it at the end of every week, just to say kind of how my experience was with the treatment and any differences that I'm noticing that week. So I have um, treatment resistant depression as well as borderline personality disorder, um, PTSD and chronic suicidality. So Spravato is S-ketamine and it's um, has shown to be really promising for treatment-resistant depression and suicidal thoughts. So it tends to really help calm people down and has shown some long-term benefits in your mental health overall. So yeah, so my first one was last Monday, so I'm a little bit late making this video, and I was really, really nervous going in because I had read some things about it, and ketamine is technically a hallucinogen, so I was really worried about how that was going to make me feel because I, I didn't know if I was going to like the feeling. I didn't know if I was going to be scared because I had never really experienced anything like it before. So going in, I was like absolutely terrified. But I realized that I kind of worked myself up for nothing because it was not that bad. Um, I didn't particularly like the feeling, but I also wasn't scared like I was expecting myself to be. So basically, when you go for a Spravato treatment, you have to do it in a psychiatrist's office. And the first 30 minutes of your appointment, you're um, is spent taking the medication. So Spravato is a nose spray. So you get three little bottles of it, and each bottle has two doses. So you spray it in one side of your nose, and then the other side of your nose, wait five minutes. Same thing with the second bottle, five more minutes, and then wait, um, and then you do the third bottle. So during that time, I just sat with my psychiatrist and he was just talking to me, you know, asking the standard doctor's questions that you get when you go to a psychiatrist and just kind of monitoring me while the medication was going into my system just to make sure like I was going to be okay with it. So I didn't really feel anything for a while. My psychiatrist told me that typically people do like after your first or second dose, like you start to feel maybe a little bit dizzy or you kind of start to feel just like a little bit of a weird feeling overall. I didn't have that until I finished all three doses. And then about 10 or 15 minutes later, I started to notice that I was like a little bit dizzy. And so, yeah, now I'm going to talk about what I kind of felt like. Um, I was for some reason expecting to be like terrified while I was doing it, but it actually wasn't that bad. It was sort of relaxing. Um, so you have to stay in the office for two hours after you get bravado because you do get a little bit of a high from it. And, you know, just logistically you can't walk out because you're dizzy and you know things kind of look weird so you might fall and like hurt yourself so they have to monitor you for two hours um which wasn't that bad I just sat and listened to music the whole time which was good for me um I did feel like kind of weird a little bit like dissociated is kind of how I would describe it so like things kind of looked off like if I looked down at my hands like my hands looked like they were really far away from my body and like when my psychiatrist came out to talk to me in the middle of it, like his voice sounded really far away. And then when I was talking back to him, my voice sounded really far away. So it was just like a couple little like sensory things that I noticed. Um, it did make me dizzy. So it was hard to stand up and walk just because like I was a little bit disoriented. And I think that all lasted for about 45 minutes. So it was just 45 minutes of me sitting, um, listening to music, just kind of honestly, just kind of spacing out and relaxing. Um, every once in a while, like my psychiatrist, and this is typically how these procedures are done, like they come out and they talk to you, just check in, see how you're doing, see kind of what you're feeling. He asked me like if I was dizzy or if I was nauseous or if I felt dissociated. I know it is pretty common for people to be nauseous when they take this, but I didn't get any of that, which I was very glad about. And then halfway through the procedure, at the beginning of the procedure and right before you leave, um, my psychiatrist just took my blood pressure because it can raise people's blood pressure sometimes. So they just have to make sure like you're still in a safe range. Mine didn't really um, change much throughout the whole time. So it didn't really affect me. The one thing that I brought with me that I would highly recommend to anybody who's going to get Spravato treatments is candy. The stuff when you spray it into your nose will drip a little bit down the back of your throat and it tastes awful. So I brought like some little fruit uh, flavored lifesavers and I was just eating those. And I also brought some lemonade with me that I was drinking. So it didn't really get rid of the flavor, but it helped to mask it a little bit because that, that was probably like the worst part. Like that 
was just disgusting. But candy kind of solved that for me. So I definitely recommend that. Um, I brought a book with me too. I didn't end up like reading my book or anything, but uh, that was one of the things that they recommended that I bring. Um, I definitely could have read the book, but I just, I kind of liked to just sit and kind of zone out and listen to music. So next time I might try reading my book. So this was the kind of disappointing part, I guess. Um, a lot of the times with Spravato, people will feel like happier, at least while they are like doing the treatment. So like for the 45 minutes where, you know, the most of it is in your system and your system's like responding to it the most um, is usually when people will feel like a little bit of a boost in their mood. And also a lot of the times after the procedure for like the rest of the day, you will have a little bit like of an energy boost or like just feeling a little bit better overall. I didn't get that. Um, and I was disappointed and my psychiatrist was really disappointed, but so like I kind of left feeling like really discouraged about it. Um, but I talked to my therapist about it and he was just, he told me, and I think this makes a lot of sense that like when you have a very like severe level of depression, you're not going to notice a small change for a while. So because going into it, my depression was so severe, like I didn't really get that boost in mood that like other people might have get gotten, like if their, you know, their mood was not quite as depressed as I was going in. And also everyone's body is different. So everyone's body reacts to medications differently. So that could be part of it as well. So some people do get that immediate relief and some people don't, and that's normal. Um, last week I had one appointment. The appointments are typically done twice a week, but just scheduling wise, like there's only time for me to do one last week. I'm hoping I could do them twice a week because that seems to be a little bit more effective if you are going twice a week rather than just once a week. So currently I'm approved for four weeks of treatment. So that's eight total treatments. Um, and typically with Spravato, people do maybe around 12 weeks of appointment. But again, it depends on the person, depends on the level of depression, and it depends on how well your body responds to the ketamine. I was feeling pretty discouraged about it, but I'm trying to not be too hard on it because I've only done it once. So it's still too early to know whether or not it's going to help. So I guess I'm trying to be a little bit hopeful about it working more in the future. So I will be continuing to film these videos and I will post um, hopefully weekly updates about any changes that I've noticed. And I know one of the things that I was super worried about going into it was what if this doesn't work? Because bravado was kind of presented to me almost as like a last resort option. So when I heard that, I was thinking if this doesn't work, like am I just screwed? Is there nothing else to help me? Um, which is not true. So if anyone else, you know, starting these treatments and feeling the same way, there are plenty of other options. So I think for me, the things I've talked about are if this bravado works, but not as much as I would want it to, or doesn't work at all, kind of the next step up from that is to do um, ketamine infusions. So it's just a little bit stronger, um, a little bit more, and I think it's more frequent, but I might be wrong on that. So that has, you know, a higher success rate than Spravato, but it's a little bit more annoying to do. So yeah, that is, I think, pretty much it for this one. And I have my next treatment in a couple of days. So I will keep you guys updated on how it goes. And if you have any questions about bravado, about treatment resistant depression or anything like that, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them next time. Thank you.